I don't often do food reviews in this channel, but I haven't had one of these in ages. It's a Frey Bentos pie. And the Frey Bentos, all you have to say is Frey Bentos in the UK, and people immediately think of this classic steak and kidney pie. And it's sealed in a tin, um, and I think it might be made in Poland, I'm not sure. But uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open this up, if this tin opener actually works, because it's a really huge tin. And then I shall uh, bake this, and then we can take a look inside the pie and see what's in it. So let's start by seeing if this tin opener is actually going to work, because it, it does specifically say in the back that they recommend specific brands of tin openers. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone in. Let's uh, get the lid off it to start off with. I notice it says... Since 1881, that's not the pie inside. That would be a very exciting food review of an 1881 pie. I wonder what that would taste like. I wonder what colour it would be. So this is a thing that uh, I enjoyed a lot in my childhood because it was a sort of family treat to get one of these. Oh, there we go. Uh, here's what we have. We've got the puff pastry stuff on top, the filling inside. Right, tell you what, I'm going to stick this in the air fryer and... Uh, See if it cooks okay in that. I'll be back in one moment. The pie is cooked. Well, I think it's cooked. It's all golden and fluffy with this shiny bit in the middle. It is slightly lopsided. Uh, I'm wondering if it's going to be fluffy all the way through or is it going to have a huge ear pocket? Not really sure. Fluffy all the way through is my desired option. So let's take it to bits. Let's lift off the puff pastry. If I can lift off the puff pastry here, prise it up. Ooh, it's kind of wet and moist, which is kind of similar to wet, but moister. Uh, uh, where's the meat? Oh, there's the meat. Oh, it's just collapsed in uh, on what is largely gravy with a very few small pieces of meat. I used to think it was a lot meatier than this. This looks like it's filled with a slurry of MRM. Is this what it was like in the old days? I'm not really sure. Uh, this is also molten hot. It's very gelatinous as well. Yeah, I'm feeling slightly cheated about the amount of meat in this. It doesn't feel like it's got as much as it used to be. But then again, I was a small child when I ate one of these. So uh, maybe this is what it was like back then. It's also steaming up the camera. I shall, I shall wipe the camera, though it's not really going to do much good, is it? Because, hold on, wiping the camera. Uh, it's not going to do much good because it's about to steam up again. I'm kind of regretting uh, not letting this cool down more, but I'm going to stuff this in the mouth and then scream horribly. Mm. Mm. That was mostly jelly. Oh, where's a bit of meat? There's a bit of uh, meat stuff. Mm. Mm. Shredded MRM meat. Mm -hmm. This feels solid. I think this might be a bit of the kidney. Mm. Yes, it was. What about the puff pastry? A safe puff pastry. It's not like puffed all the way through. It's it's very moist. Mm -hmm. Tastes okay. All right. So that is a, a free band of steak and kidney pie. Well, it's a free Bentus gravy pie, I think is the best way to describe it. I will not lie, there's a lot less in it than I was expecting. This is just gooey gel. <laughs> That's not a good result. But anyway, uh, I shall let you know in the description down below what it was actually like to eat, because it's still molten hot. And I'll give it a jelly score of how much was jelly and how much was actually meat. But there we go. A typical British pie... Well, a typical European pie, the Frey Bentus, not much steak, not much kidney pie.